Greetings, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody else watching this video right now. This is Chris McKee coming at you from Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. Find us on the web at alamomusic.com and here on YouTube where you can get the latest and greatest of the great videos we have coming to you with acoustic guitars, electric guitars, amps, pianos, all that fun stuff. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and in the very own backyard here in San Antonio where we've got two locations to serve you. We have a Battle Royale again for you, a comparison because we know how much you guys like that, uh, of the travel guitars that Taylor Guitars offers. So, we're going to compare the Baby Taylor, the Big Baby Taylor, and the GS Mini in the Spruce Top versions so that you guys can get an idea of the differences from each body shape. Now, unfortunately, video does not allow us to transmit to the feel of these guitars, so I'll do my very best to try to describe that to you if you don't get a chance to go to a local music store and try one of these out. They're all great guitars. I own two of them personally, and I'm gonna give you kind of a rundown of each model, let you know its strengths, its weaknesses, and then we're going to play them so that you can hear the difference between each one. Sound good? Let's go. So what I've got in my lap right here, first of all, is Taylor's GS Mini. This is one of the very best selling, uh, award winning, best received travel guitars that's on the market today. This is basically a shrunk down version of their Grand Symphony body. They left this one in the dryer too long, so to speak. It's a three quarter size guitar or three quarter ish size guitar that Taylor makes. It joined, it is the, the youngest member of this travel guitar line that Taylor's been making for a number of years. So before we get to the specifics of each one, let's kind of back up a little bit. Over my shoulder here, to my left side, your right side, uh, is a Taylor, uh, is a baby Taylor, okay? And the baby Taylor came out in the late 90s. Taylor was manufacturing cases down in their uh, Tecate, uh, Mexico manufacturing plant, which is about a half hour from their uh, El Cajon uh, manufacturing facility, and just outside San Diego. So in their Mexican plant, they were building cases. And in building cases, they were using uh, machines to laminate uh, wood so that you can have this nice, strong case that Taylor is known for. They took the opportunity, since they had that functionality, um, to build a guitar down there. They didn't start down there initially, though. They were first made and manufactured in their American plants. So if you have one of those late 90s, early 2000 baby tailors like I do, they were actually made in the U.S. The baby tailor was kind of a uh, skunk works project. It was uh, where they began to experiment with what would eventually become the NT neck that comes on every tailor that's manufactured. Uh, for the most part, and that's where they took their um, bolt-on neck and they started making kind of a, a paddle-shaped neck that would go into a pocket in the guitar and, and work with uh, the bracing on it and all of these other things. So we'll point out the differences in the neck joint here in a moment, but that's, that's where it started. And uh, from the get-go, it was available with a case or a gig bag. Now, uh, fast forward some almost 20 years, and the Baby Taylor is a huge seller. It's incredibly popular, both for adults who want it as a travel guitar, something that'll uh, be light on the back that you can go backpacking with, take to the beach, throw in an overhead of a plane, what have you, as well as uh, as a child's guitar. Um, and I can attest to that. I've got three kids. I own a Baby Taylor, a really cool Koa model one from back in 2001. Love that guitar. It was my first Taylor. Um, and my kids regularly take it from me. So I'll turn around and look for my guitar and, and it's gone. So it's a great guitar to um, you know, have for your child who wants something that will help them to grow on the guitar and learn and, and it's comfortable for them. After the Baby Taylor, uh, people wanted something that was low priced, um, had the Taylor quality, um, but uh, was, was basically more affordable than say a 300 series guitar was at the time. So Taylor came out with their big baby and the construction is very much the same. It's also a small dreadnought sized guitar. It's just bigger. So a lot of the components from the bracing to the neck construction, um, from the big baby to the baby are very, very much the same. That's why it's basically called the big baby. Um, the baby Taylor's three quarter size. It's 23 and like three quarters scale or 22 and three quarters scale length. Um, it's a solid spruce top. It's got scallop bracing, laminate sapele back and sides, ebony fingerboard, ebony bridge, uh, new bone, nut and saddle, and it comes with a gig bag. 
the big baby is basically the exact same thing, but in a 5 16th size dreadnought body, it's thinner than a normal dreadnought, and it's a 25 and a half inch scale. So it's a full length scale, um, just in a smaller kind of shrunk down dreadnought body. Fast forward a few years, and Taylor comes out with the GS Mini. Now at this point, they have moved to their Mexico manufacturing facility, and they are churning these things out. They are incredibly popular. People love them. And they've taken their new body size, or design, which is the Grand Symphony body, um, and they've shrunk it down. This is a 23 and a half inch scale, so it's a full two inch shorter than a normal scale length Taylor or the Big Baby is. The construction's also a little bit different. It's still a solid spruce top on this model with laminate sapele back and sides. The bracing inside is a little bit more grown up. It's their scallop bracing with the relief route like uh, the big guitars have. And the neck has a full heel on it. Now this is obviously thinner than a full size tailor would be. But you've got a heel on the neck and that's a little bit different. Let me show you kind of in comparison. This is a big baby. Okay, so you can see the difference in the bodies. This is a dreadnought body. This is your Grand Symphony body. And if we turn it this way, you'll see the differences on the neck. The big baby and the baby have this heel. It's almost like a Stratocaster neck and it fits into a pocket in the body. They're mounted on with simple wood screws, which is very, very effective. Um, and then you've got a strap button right here. The GS Mini has an actual heel. It's a three piece neck like on the bigger guitars with a scarfed head joint. The heel gives you a little bit more stability. And as part of that, uh, even though the Big Baby is a full size guitar, or full scale length anyway, the Big Baby and the Baby Taylor both have light gauge elixir phosphor bronze strings. The GS Mini comes with medium gauge strings. And that's kind of important because since it's a shorter scale, medium gauge feels a lot like light gauge strings on a normal length scale but it also allows you to get a bit of a meatier tone and drive the top a little bit more on the small guitar in my opinion it's got a kind of a bigger sound and that's one of the reasons that the gs mini has been so incredibly popular so as we play through it you might notice some of that and i want you to understand that the structural design and the strings and, and every, everything kind of plays a role in what's going on all of these guitars are available for uh, very little money comparatively to a, a, the quality of a Taylor guitar. It's very approachable. They all come with gig bags. They're Taylor quality, ebony fretboards, ebony bridges, solid spruce tops. They're basically a really good value. So we're going to listen to each one of them and uh, that way you can kind of get a feel for what they sound like. And from a playing playability standpoint, you know, the baby Taylor being the smallest is going to have the slinkiest strings on it. And then uh, both the GS Mini and, and the, the Big Baby kind of have a similar feel. 111 16th nut, uh, Taylor quality on the, the neck, the straightness of it, the setup. Uh, it's, it's what you'd come to expect from them. So, good guitars, let's hear what they sound like.
Well, I hope you liked our video. Hope you're able to hear the differences between each one. If you'd like to try one of these out or if you have any questions, contact us here at Alamo Music Center. I want to let you know that these guitars are also available with a number of options. All three models are available with a pickup system um, and they are also available, uh, the Baby and the GS Mini with either a mahogany top, um, rosewood back and sides on the GS Mini with a spruce top, and a rarity occasionally when it's available, an Alcoa GS Mini which we try to keep in stock as often as we can. And we happen to have some very rare and not part of the official catalog, uh, Alcoa Baby Tailors. So if you have questions or you're interested in any of those, give us a call today, go on our website or send us an email. Thanks for watching.